it's now, say, early morning, probably 7, 7.30. Fair enough. The sun has risen. Um, it's frosty on the ground. Ooh. A little bit of fog on the lake. What's for breakfast? <coughs> You are all jolted out of your sleep oh. by a piercing, blood-curdling scream. From outside oh. the house? Outside I'm the running house. outside. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll perception. Everyone who runs outside. Oh. Still one of roll for all of my family members. No, just roll for yourself. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, for all right. 19. I'm still sitting in my comfy 19. corner. 21. All right, you both can tell <laughs> it is coming court. from the direction of the Obiyashi household. Oh, boy. God damn it, and I just take off. Okay. Um, you get to the Obiyashi household. Uh, there's a small crowd of people gathered around. I'm going to slowly follow. Okay. Like, I'm not in any real hurry. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'll catch up eventually. If they're screaming, it's already over. What's for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Death. Uh, again, still high, Death blood-curdling break. scream. Uh, the closer you get, uh, you can tell it's a woman's scream. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just going to say you barrel through the people who oh, are yeah. outside. Yep. Um, I'm a cow catcher. Goddamn way. Uh, <laughs> what a <tornation. laughs> You basically go charging through the door. Uh, it's kind of one of those... Paper doors? Oh, like, uh, that door is not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> you see. Are you? Yeah. You're wearing a ghost costume again, just made paper. <laughs> you see the son and daughter. Oh. Oh, basically. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought, you know, you see the son coming through the window. You uh, went all the way through the house. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's drawing a map. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> By God. By God, this paper house is coming down. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of the Lord, moment, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so this is the inside of their house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, husband, wife, um, son, daughter. Took yeah. me way too long to realize those are rooms, not people. That's right. Um, um, so you come we're in. talking one floor? Yeah. Okay. You come in through this door. Um, and so you crash. <laughs> um, kind of just like a standard living room, kitchen area. Looks somewhat nice. Maybe a little bit nicer than um, the, brandy their, buttons. the Brandy Buttons household. But, That's fine. Uh, maybe, not, not, That's fine. maybe <laughs> not exceedingly. Like, we're again, it's not something... That looks like <laughs> we're not the be, property brothers. Uh, yeah, we're not glitzy people. <laughs> it's not a household, obviously, that a wealthy family would have, but it's definitely looking nicer yeah. than some of the houses around. Um, you know, you can hear the screaming coming from the end of this hallway. Um, do you go towards the screaming? Oh, of course, I go towards okay. the screaming. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so you turn this corner, you see Eriko and Nobuo mm-hmm. both standing. Um, basically at the end of this hallway. Eriko looks to be in tears. Uh, Nobuo kind of seems in shock. <coughs> a little bit, Ooh, you. Uh, you. you know, unfazed, if you will. Again, you could you presume it's probably just shock. Come up and like, like approach like slow. I'm not yeah, like, turning through anybody come anymore. Come comfort okay. Eriko. Uh, um, I'm going to go up to Nobuo. I just kind of approach him because he seems more held together, even though he's probably not... Uh, I'll just be like, what's happening, son? What's going on? Uh, do you put your arm on him? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I put my arm on him. go. Okay. Um, Somewhere around yeah. mid-calf. <laughs> yeah. I'll try my best. <laughs> you both look into Kimiko and Saho's bedroom. You see Kimiko in this corner. She is... <clears throat> alive and well. <laughs> She is alive. Oh, good. Um, screaming. She's oh, the one so screaming. So not well. yeah. um, Her hands are clawing at her hair. Um, you then see in the bed is Saho. He is dead. Oh. His neck has been broken. Wolf. 
His <laughs> eyes have been gouged out. <laughs> oh, and there is do do in the sheets. <laughs> there is a large stone, probably the size of a fist, placed on his chest. For the record, um, I follow through the like hole that he made through the crowd. <laughs> I'm just kind of like nonchalantly leaning against the door frame, just keeping an eye on okay. things. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put the sword down against okay. the wall. Now, I was going to say this might be a good time to uh, pause if we want to break here. Mm. Yeah. You know, good, good. good little cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I got fucked up. I yeah. guess. And she didn't notice. That's what they, they, Somebody snuck in, broke his neck, and she woke up next to her dead husband. Or she did it, you know, she did it, because she's crazy, yeah. They're just tearing at her hair. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's guilt. <laughs> what did I do? I love that. Just the, the, it's simply the first thing we're assuming. She lifted this huge fucking rock in front of her dead husband <laughs> after gouging his eyes out. Well, you said, like, the size of a fist. Oh, yeah. So I, have, not, I feel like that has to be like more massive. representative. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit larger than a fist. Like a small... Like a boulder. Like a, like a Indiana softball. Jones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, you a little bigger than a fist, like you about a Cape Cod yeah. house. You swap it, oh damn, he saw me, I gotta gouge his eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> hold both hands out, hold this. <laughs> I'll get these. <laughs> that, that, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Honey. Like, yeah, no matter what, we're like, she did it. The hard way. You can't blame the victim. You know what, these guys are going to be, just... She's not the victim, she was next to the victim. I would say, if your husband was brutally murdered, I feel like you're a victim. Maybe but not that just... much in the grand scheme of things. You know, they better, we should just put him out of the What is your alignment? <laughs> <laughs> no, in real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same. <laughs> We're getting back into this. Hmm. Where were we? We recall from last night. We are in the... Oh, yep. I'm at, we're at the murder scene. Oh, right. Yeah. We just found a guy with a stone on his chest. I'm still at the brandy button. House. Saho. I'm eating breakfast. Obayashi. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's the one who ran in. Yep. He's the one who ran in. You followed him, and you are comforting Yuriko, the daughter. Uh-huh. You're just kind of chilling. Out in the living room, Doorway. kitchen area. Um, and Tyler's still at the brandy yeah. buttons. You, you sleeping or are you just kind of like, breakfast? Oh. <laughs> it's a big breakfast. I'm, I'm trying to be very pleasant to make up for my awful snoring. <laughs> <laughs> so, you two have seen the dead body. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Cut his head off. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No um, hesitation. Yeah, and um, what's Kimiko's in the corner, like, hysterical? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right, I, I guess I'm just going to, like, kind of, like, place my sword, like, against the wall. Um, but then, like, a fair, like, reaching distance in case. Uh, but I guess I'll just, like, walk up to Kimiko and be like, man, man we got to just kind of, like, take her hands, like, stop her from, like, ripping out her hair. It's like, okay. man, breathe if you can. Just what, it's pretty obvious what happened, but... Did you wake up like this? Did you see what happened? Did you see who did this? Uh, you notice that she does have blood on her hands. Oh. Just to mm-hmm. uh, help add to the scene. Um, <laughs> I, I I, don't remember. We, we got back last night. Uh, I, I had my tea. Uh, Saho, he made my tea. I, after that, I, I don't remember. I, all I remember was waking up, waking up in the kitchen. I came in. It was a couple minutes ago. I came in to go back to sleep. I don't know why I fell asleep in the kitchen, and then I just found him like this. I, I, I don't know what happened. Did you, uh, did you touch him when you found I, him? I, I, Got she, blood in your hands. She looks at her hands, uh, sees the blood. I, 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 I must have. I, I don't remember. I, 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 I takes off. Oh jeez. She runs. Uh, kind of just kind of like stumbles out. Mm-hmm. Just down the hallway. All right. Suspicious. Uh, Where's the crossbow? <laughs> Where's the crossbow? I'm gonna pick up my sword and I guess uh, investigate the crime scene. Okay. Uh, roll perception. Uh, Twenty-three. Okay. Um, let's see. 
you notice that it does appear that two people slept in the bed. Mm -hmm. um, you see a teacup by one nightstand. Um, it's not the nightstand that's next to the body. There's a small amount of liquid still in the cup, um, implying that it wasn't fully drunk. And then you also notice something strange about the stone. You see some uh, crystalline, um, some crystal showing through the stone. Hmm. Hmm. Do you pick it up? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Even though it might be evidence. Just on a horrifying oh, body. Oh. No fingerprints. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Can they even check for fingerprints? That's a good point. <laughs> I feel like there's no fingerprints anyway. Wink. Hey. hey. Uh, well, <laughs> I would say investigation. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, you see that it's not a normal stone. It appears to be an uncut gem uh, that has emeralds inside. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, hold on to that. I'm going to take the teacup. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring it out to Ginny. Like a what, did, odd question, but uh, does this smell like proper tea to you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would say wool perception. Would she get a bonus being an alchemist's daughter? Sure. Twelve. Oh, okay. So twelve Sorry. plus your perception. Uh, five. Seventeen. So, Seventeen. Uh, Seems fair. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> you think it might smell a little strange, but it's hard to tell. I mean, it, for the most part, just smells like normal tea, but there kind of might be something there. You're not 100% mm. certain. Camp tea. <laughs> Camp <Okay>. tea. <laughs> or he might have hit her with a sleeping drought or poisoned her some way. Mm. Made her go mad, I don't know. It's not a bad guess. Hmm. And so where has Kimiko gone? Uh, She's in the hallway? The kids? And Ginny? Yeah, I would say... Let me see. Nobuo has kind of wandered back and is just hanging out in the kitchen at this point. Um, <laughs> While Dee just stares at him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just observing from the corner mm -hmm. still? No, from, I, I am in the doorway. Oh, um, wait. Or is this the doorway? That's this the thing. back door. That's the front door. Oh, in, in the back of okay. the room, I guess. Um... Eriko would have wandered out, uh, just out to like the front lawn, and Kimiko is say like here by like a window. All right. Uh, How old is Eriko? Eriko and Nobuo are probably like 15, 16. Right. Okay. I'm gonna close slide close the bedroom door. Okay. Uh, look at Nobuo. Be like, comfort your mother. I'm just gonna kind of walk out past D. Did you see anything while you're out here? No. All right. Uh, I'm gonna step outside. Is the crowd still there? It is. Uh, it seems like there might be some more people who have wandered over from having heard the screams, uh, including Gar. I finally stepped out, made my way over. All right. In looking at the crowd, notice. Mrs. Palmer, the old woman from last night, she has joined the crowd. Mm. Um, you can also see that um, there's a lot of, uh, kind of like last night, uh, it's very muddy where you are. Uh, again, very close to the lake, so you can kind of infer that you know the ground here is pretty much always muddy. Mm -hmm. You notice something by the shrubbery over by the woods. It appears okay. to be something uh, lightly colored, maybe some kind of claw. I'm gonna go take a closer look at it. Okay. Um, so you wander over, um, somewhat hidden, but not very well hidden, is a nightshirt. It appears to be a woman's nightshirt. It is covered in blood. I was about to ask. All right. Hmm. So I don't have gloves, so I don't want to touch it too much. 
And then what did you two roll again? 13. 16. All right, you notice um, there's a window by Kimiko and Saho's bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, glass? Yes, glass. Okay. Kind of walking up to the house now. Okay. And where would you, would you be? Uh, I'd probably be like right out here. Okay, you two notice the window, uh, but because you're closer, um, you see some like markings by the window. Do, oh. you, do you investigate? Yes. Okay, absolutely. Um, what you see are um, some footprints outside the window, along with a muddy handprint on the windowsill. Hmm. Well, D, anything exciting? Screams. Yes. We've got an audience. I'll go see, I'll go see what I can do. I'm gonna wander around the crowd and just kind of like pop in and out of conversations, kind of like tagging people and being like, "Oh, what do you think of this?" Okay. You know, just kind of generally question, but not like more in like an onlooker kind of way. Mm-hmm. Not like, "Excuse me, sir." Right. Where were you? I'm gonna take up D's spot by the door. Um, roll a persuasion. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Um, maybe one or two people who were there when you showed up mm-hmm. are kind of hesitant to talk to you because they saw you go in. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the most part. Um, most people kind of just give you their unvarnished opinions. Um, you know, there are some people who you know, don't necessarily seem too broken up about it. Um, everyone seems kind of shocked, at least. Um, you know, one or two people are mentioning uh, spirits, um, but a bunch of other people are kind of hand waving that almost. And so is Mrs. Palmer just like at the head of the crowd, or is she just quiet? Um, she's kind of made her way towards the head of the crowd, but it's not like last night where she was like leading everything. All right. Uh, I'm going to approach Mrs. Palmer. Okay. And take out the gemstone. Okay. And just kind of be like, does this have any significance to you, ma'am? She looks at it. Um, (laughs) Ding! (laughs) And then, um, just shakes her head. It's really well done. I've just been staring at it for like ten minutes. <laughs> Thank you. There's a there's a dead body in there. This was resting on top of it. I, I can't speak to what it could be. This might be a weird question. Are there any women that look like they're missing clothing, especially bloody women that we're just somehow not <laughs> noticing missing clothing? Um, she kind of raises her eyebrow at you. Uh, kind of looks around and. Just as, you know, not that I can see. I didn't think so, but I wasn't sure. After all that, last night, what you were saying, that uh, incident, the Obiashis, tell me this has no significance whatsoever, nor what it can mean. I don't think someone took uh, religious rites into their own hands. I I can't speak for others. I'm, I'm sorry. She bullshitting me? Um, roll uh, 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 insight. Uh, 21. Uh, she's not bullshitting you. Okay. Like, as far as you can tell, she doesn't know what happened or if anyone would have done this. I will have been kind of observing this from my spot in the crowd. I'm going to circle around um, Miss Palmer. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put my... Uh, yeah, bef- <laughs> uh, Excuse me, shoulder. Mrs. Palmer. <laughs> My dude declare. Uh, no. Bef- while I'm headed over to Mrs. Palmer and in- inside my head, I'm kind of shaking it off. Your penis? Yep. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over, I'm going to put my hand on her shoulder and be like, oh my god, this is... Uh, a horrible tragedy for any town. Is, is everyone else all right? I I have not heard if anyone else has been murdered. Um, I presume at this point, if someone were dead, 
We would have heard about. We would have heard the other screams. Seems as far as I could tell, everyone's just either sleeping or hungover, as is their want after the Sam Hain Festival. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, so at this point, Kimiko has through the window spotted uh, Mrs. Palmer, and she comes rocketing out. Oh, and she looks. Pissed. I'm gonna uh, follow her. Gonna stand like. No, I'm not gonna like overtly block her. I'm gonna kind of stand at an angle yeah. in between so that she can't like advance okay. upon this old woman. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna take gonna... a few steps back to get a good view of the whole situation, both what's happening and how people are reacting to it. I'm gonna follow her, and I think I might need to hold her back. So, <laughs> okay. Um, she stops. I'd say maybe a couple feet from you, because mm-hmm. um, she can kind of tell that you're. You would basically stop her. Um, and then she comes up and she screams, You did this! You did this! And Mrs. Palmer, just, you know, stone faced over a cane, uh, just says, You know, I, I didn't do this. You know, I know what I said last night. Um, well, if it wasn't you, then it was, it was one of the people, one of the people that you incited. Um, and Mrs. Palmer says, Look, I, I can't speak to that. But the people, they do follow me, follow me, they follow Quarion, and both of us told them, you heard us, you said, that if you did not put in to the ceremony, nothing bad would happen to us. The people don't have any reason to harm you. It was only after you said all that fire and brimstone talk of them not putting a sacrifice in. Some folk got quite excited over that. It's true, they did. Uh, Where is Quarion? I have not seen him this morning. He <laughs> seemed quite into his cups the last I saw him last night. Um, is that, I'm going to turn to the crowd. The goat man? I think so. I'm going to turn to the crowd and say, Where is Quarion? Should he not be here to see one of your fellow villagers dead? Someone in the back of the crowd shouts out, I think I saw him in the graveyard! The graveyard! Uh, at this point, Kimiko um, basically holds out her arm and rips up her sleeve. Uh, she says, All right, fine, take the blood now. Take all of our blood now. But Mrs. Palmer is again placid. She says, It's too late. Uh, you know, if the gods have been upset by you, um, there's nothing you can do at this point. Um, and she kind of walks away. Um, some of the other uh, villagers uh, follow her. Others are still just uh, hanging drunk. around. <laughs> some of them might still be drunk. Uh, others might just be trying to get an eyeful of what they can possibly see. Uh, a bloody nightshirt. Uh, I'm going to look at Gar. I'm like, well, people are still around. I'm going to say it loud enough so that people can hear, like, when I'm trying to hide it. They're like, well, I don't think it's the gods, because I didn't give blood either. And I'm fine. I gave blood. You did I'm still wearing the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm surprised it's stuck on that long. <laughs> yeah, after the dip in the water, it yeah. hurt. <laughs> well, neither of you uh, live here. So I don't know if that would affect the local crops. A couple of uh, travelers passing through. True, but everyone seems uptight about these gods and their apparent vengeful ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are these gods? I don't think I know much about the... IOC? Mm-hmm. There we go. I think we should head to the graveyard. Quick. Before Aquarion catches an ear for what we're up to. Yes. Give, give it COVID. We should go back inside and children. Lock up well. Get that crossbow. Uh, at this point, Eriko has wandered over. Um, she seems to be uh, not back to normal, but uh, more in more in control of her faculties than Kimiko is. I mean, she's swinging between you know, rage and sadness, whereas Eriko is seems to be more uh, evened out at this point. Um, she says. You know, I, I heard you, I heard all of you last night. You, you came and you tried to help us. Um, you know, I only wish, I only wish my father had taken you up in your, on your offer. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. 
um, uh, please uh, help us uh, solve this murder. And at this point, Kimiko looks at Rico and says, Kimiko, no, we don't need those adventurers help. Dad is dead. Your husband is dead. We need someone to help us because no one here will, ha will help us figure out who did this. So Kimiko's the mother and... Yes. Eureka is the daughter. Got it. I was yeah. a little confused. Yeah. Um, we'll just go by the names here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to step beside Kimiko. I'm going to put my hand on her arm and just say, well, this is a terrible thing you've been through. I'd love to help in any way that I can. Let me know if there's... You and Kimiko? Uh, yes. The mom. The mom. Yeah. Okay. She... Let me know if there's anything I can okay. do. She... I'm, I'm, I'm slightly hitting on her. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, I she, I'm trying to charm her. Because you're not too much a handsy guy, so. No. She immediately so brushes she your did. arm off and stalks back into the house. Um, she sees the door that you have basically destroyed. <laughs> uh, tries to awkwardly, like, <laughs> close it or prop it back up. Um, gives you a glare because or gives all four of you a glare because she knows that it was someone who kicked it open mm -hmm. and just wanders back in. Having somewhat moved, put it back up, but there's still a gaping hole where the door once was. Oh, she's going to glare um, at look me. At Eureka, uh, sorry about the door. Uh, you just keep your mother and your brother safe and try to find someone to help take care of your father. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. We'll remove him if you wish. Uh, no, that's 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 all right. We have people in in the village who will help us with the burial rites. Right. Brave girl. Who are these old gods that the people revere? Is it just the AOC, or is it something else? We haven't been here long, but as far as I've heard it's only the AOC. I haven't heard any names reference to these old gods. Um, you know, it's hard for me to say even if a lot of the people actually believe in the old gods. The other months of the year, it doesn't seem like they necessarily are interested in worshipping these gods, so. Sounds like a lot of people like using the gods as an excuse for one thing or another. It's the way it sounds. It's the way it is all over. Not. Last night you looked like you wanted to throw your own pebble in the fire. I thought about it. The transition from living in Ryujin to coming here has been difficult on all of them. I've tried to be more open than they have, and it hasn't gotten me much in the way with the rest of my family, but... It's hard for us to say how long we'll be here, so we can't be outsiders forever. I One. think you're better off elsewhere. I will. I agree, but at this point, we'll see what Kimiko and Nobuo want to do. I'll try and convince them to go elsewhere, but it will be difficult. We'll do our best to get you closure, if nothing else. We'll Thank do our best to get you justice as well. Indeed. I appreciate that. Hmm. To the graveyard. The graveyard. Graveyard. Which is which way? I know I'm supposed to know the area, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can go north. We could either go north and then that way, or kind of wind through the town. Yeah, that way. Okay. Which one? The windy way. The windy way. All right. I saw a safer. muddy handprint by the window. Was it there? not his? He was slinging mud. I don't wipe my hands on the building. So specifically about the bedroom window. Um, it wasn't there before. So did he die or what? I didn't see any of this. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he oh, right. very, very yeah, dead. His eyes breakfast. are gone and his neck is at an angle that does not permit one to live. Does not permit <laughs> one to right, live. You were eating breakfast. <laughs> and you think that old woman did it? I think someone did it, but not her. I mean, I think it's one of the townspeople she might have incited. I mean, there's a chance that Kim Go herself did it. Uh, you're saying her tea smelled funny. A little, just a little. I don't think it was Kim She's got some gaps in her memory. No. At this point, um, you're walking away from 
Yes. The house. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear someone calling after you. 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 What the hell? What is it? It's not Cowman, is it? <laughs> um, coming from this house uh -oh. is a weird name. A small halfling. Um, she has red hair. Darker skin. Mm -hmm. um, and she is um, probably middle aged. I saw you talking with the daughter and the, the family over there. Uh, how do you know them? Just trying to help. We're really strangers, but we want to see justice done. No, so you don't know the Obiashis? We know Gimpy. <laughs> <laughs> No boys. <laughs> he probably has a name. Oh, well, he does have a name now. Gimpy. <laughs> oh, whoa, the gimp. Do you know who killed the husband? Oh, I I don't know that. Uh, I was out late with uh, with some of my friends, and uh, I got back late uh, from the merriment, and then went right to sleep. Uh, but I did see. One thing. Have you met uh, Guy Castavetes? A no. farmer? Did you meet him during the festivities? What's he look like? Uh, he is a human, somewhat tall, somewhat uh, lanky, I would say. Uh, very tall, probably 6'5". Uh, hair color similar to mine. Not uh, so. Have we seen this guy? Was he one of the bullies? I uh, didn't uh, Actually, is that guy Castavetes? Castavet. Roll perception. All four. Thirteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Twenty-four. Man, you're broken. <laughs> no, it's just I keep rolling high and I'm plus five. <laughs> Is that a nat? <laughs> That's no, no, well, no, nineteen. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so no, no, you 19. two think that this sounds vaguely similar to um, an individual you saw last night. Um, you think it sounds similar to um, a man who was pulled out of the green tavern by okay. a lady. Okay. Mm. Where does Mr. Castavet live, ma'am? Uh, he lives on the other side of the town, so it was a bit odd that to uh, see him uh, hurrying away. A quick question, is this gentleman married? No, I don't believe he is. We're going to use that as leverage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but those, those Obiashis, they are, uh, they are certainly, uh, odd ones. They just, uh, they just kind of showed up one day. Um, Why do you ask if we know Guy Kestavet? Is he related to this? Should we know him? Well, I, I was just saying that it was, I found it odd to see him, uh, hanging around, uh, this area last night. Uh, I mean, he lives on the other side of the village, so... With what appears to have happened here, um, I, I just thought since you four seem to be uh, close or helping the Obiashis, I should at least uh, voice this opinion. Um, you know, I personally am not a huge fan of the Obiashis. Again, um, I was more closer with uh, the previous owner, Okuda Saman. Um, you know, he used to come over for tea uh, every Friday night. He was very lovely, uh, but he just kind of upped and vanished one day, and then uh, the Obiashis appeared, and they're not very—they're not nearly as nice. They don't ever want to come over for tea. But by, but Guy Castavet was here last night, and you murdered Mr. Obiashi. Excuse me. I'm just making this Guy direct has an statement. And how does she respond? Accusation. To that? Um, shock. Why, why would you accuse me of such a horrific thing? I, I would never hurt anyone. Um, Except the Obiashis. You didn't need to hurt them to poison her tea. Poison her tea? What are you talking about? Is she lying? That's what I'm looking for, Joe. <laughs> it sounds like she's very confused and being <laughs> blindsided by a bunch of shit. <laughs> <people. laughs> Perception. 22. 18. 22. Uh, as far as you can tell, she's not lying. Uh, okay. She's very thrown off by your accusations. Um, she's not taking offense. Uh, she's just more confused as to why you would be accusing her of such things. 
Yeah. Our apologies, ma'am. We're just checking out every lead. That, that, that's, I totally understand. Totally understand. Thank you for the information. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Uh, Alice Green Bottle, if you if you need anything, or if you want to stop off for some some nice herbal tea. Uh, again, my house is uh, right next door to the uh, the murder house, so uh, <laughs> you stop by by, and she uh, kind of wanders. Well, that off. sounds nice. Thank you very much. That's what they're calling it now, the murder house. <laughs> open up a, a steak joint called Murder House. Murder House. Murder House steak. Let's and get the on to the cemetery. Killing right in the middle. <laughs> Let's get on to the cemetery. That's right. We're wasting time. Mm. Let's keep going. Well, wasn't hard. I didn't think it was. I'll just check her off the list. <laughs> <laughs> One down. Candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> Observatory. <laughs> All right, so roll perception as you walk to the graveyard. Six, fifteen, eighteen, twelve. Okay, so you two are just kind of focused on walking. You don't really necessarily pick up Those anything. Muffins are delicious. Um, you two uh, overhear some conversations from some people you're passing. I didn't get anything to eat. Um, you're starting. Uh, people are. Whispering, they're saying that something happened to the Obiashis. Um, yeah. Conflicting reports you hear. Uh, some people are saying it was the son. Some people are saying it was the mm-hmm. father. Um, one or two are saying it was the the bitch of a mother. Um, oh, okay. She's kind of a bitch. <laughs> She certainly didn't want any of this. Out oh. of character. <laughs> <laughs> Really, you should have a trio of restaurants: the murder house, yeah. the boneyard, or the the murder house, boneyard the boneyard, and the bone. graveyard. Nice. Boneyard's just ribs, though. Nice, yeah. I like it. And you do like a, a bar hop, but instead of, <laughs> instead of booze, it's meat. It's also booze. And the graveyard's just like the pickings and leftovers. <laughs> the crystal giblets. Yeah. Scrapple. Deer heart. Some collard greens. <laughs> I love collard greens. <laughs> So is this like an elaborate in cemetery with big mausoleums, <laughs> or is this more just headstones and wooden crosses? More just headstones and wooden crosses. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't, um, you know, smaller village, there wouldn't necessarily be anything uh, that ostentatious as large tombs or anything. Um, so you see um, some evidence of festivities from last night, mm-hmm. you know, maybe one or two um, knocked over uh, tubs of apples. Um, <laughs> Some half-eaten apples here and there. Um, occasionally, some uh, blood smeared on some tombstones. Um, and there are, is a small crowd that is gathered uh, more towards the back edge of the graveyard. Damn crowds everywhere in this goddamn place. It's a small town. There's not much to look at. <laughs> The bonfire's out. Where else are you gonna go? Graveyard, I guess. I'd like to approach the crowd, see what they're up to. Okay. Um, approach the crowd. You see that they are all gathered around, shouting at the half elf who was carrying cowhide last night. Cowhide. <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed me, cowhide. <laughs> he is trying to um, sort of regain order. Um, people are shouting. Basically, what happened at the Obiashi household? You know, something happened. Someone's dead. Okay, good. Um, you know, what are we gonna do? What does this mean for us? Um, and Quir- again, Quarion is trying to um, get control, but he's also uh, looks like he's in some sort of pain. Uh, he's grabbing his head. Um, you think he might be hungover? Yeah, I'm gonna give like a sharp whistle. I cannot whistle in real life. I'm gonna give okay. a good old sharp cowboy whistle. <laughs> I can't yeah, it's like either. ten times louder. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it, but better than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like you know, like in the, the movie, see the cowboy like call his horse. Oh like yeah. That. Yeah, everyone kind of uh, simmers down. Like it's mm-hmm. it doesn't totally get quiet, mm. uh, but people start turning to you. <laughs> you hear one or two people say, "That's them. That they were at the scene. They went inside." Damn right we were. Situation's then, under control. Leave this gentleman alone. Aquarion, uh, he pushes through and he walks up to you and he says, uh, these people, they say something happened to Saho Obayashi. What, what is it? They said he's dead? Saho Obayashi has been murdered. Murdered? Murdered. On the rock. This was left atop his corpse. 
You took it? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're the investigators now. I guess I that's think. Good. Do they even have a town guard? Is there a police force here? Yeah, no. <laughs> there <laughs> is now. It's frontier justice. Mrs. Palmer was doing nothing, so we're doing something to bring justice to the family. Quirion mm-hmm. takes the stone from you. He takes a look at it. I'd like to know if he's faking never having seen this before. The stone? Yeah. Like, it, I want to like take a look at his face and see what's registering there, whether that's genuine. Um, you can tell that he hasn't seen the stone before. Okay. Um, but as he looks at it closer and sees that um, it's actually a gemstone, um, you see like a small smile start to play across his face. Okay. Something amusing, boy. Boy. <laughs> 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 I might, be, I might be older, I'm not sure. Everybody's boy. <laughs> <laughs> if he whistles at you, you're boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. You clearly haven't heard the stories about the Obiashis, have you? Enlighten me. Well, no one knew them before they came here. And keep in mind, this is all just conjecture, but the rumor is that they or that Mr. Obiashi, uh, this, uh, this murder victim, you say, uh, was uh, a wheeler and dealer in underground gemstones in Ryujin. Mm. This is what some of the uh, townsfolk have said. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, and a couple of people say, yeah, I've, I've heard that. I've heard that. They showed up here ten months ago and have just kept their head down, and you know, all of us just kind of assume that they're just hiding out for some. And this man's death amuses you? I mean, no death amuses me, but if they were hiding from something, then it's clearly caught up with them. He hands you back the gemstone. Yeah, take back. What happened to Akira Saman? Previously lived in that house. Also disappeared mysteriously. I'm wondering if there's any blood involved with that, too. Disappeared mysteriously. That's what I've heard. Does anyone know about this? Disappeared mysteriously? I'm gonna poke him in the chest and say, I'm asking you. Oh. Well, while I may be one of the elders of this village, I unfortunately cannot keep track of the comings and goings of all of our citizens. Um, I am aware that he left some time ago but I was not aware that it was under uh, mysterious circumstances. Uh, who told you this? Under what circumstances did he disappear? If they were not mysterious. You, you keep using these word, this word disappear. Um, this was my, from what I had heard, he just left one day. Um, it's hard for me to say who told me that. I mean, again, it was several months ago, but... Uh, Do I get the sense that he's being honest? Uh, several months ago, they've been there ten months. Roll perception. Fourteen. You can you get the sense that he's telling the truth. Is there anybody in town who had any sort of quarrel or grudge with the Obiashis? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, they really just kept to themselves. Uh, we try to think of ourselves as more of a community. Um, you know, everyone helps out each other. Um, you know, we have different monthly village feasts where everyone comes together. Um, but, you know, they were always separate from that. They never wanted to join in. Possible some people might have a disagreement with them over that, and especially with what happened last night. Um, you know, um, I know some people can get riled up um, on drink with festivities, but um, if you're asking if anyone had a personal grudge against them, uh, not, not that I'm aware of, no. What brings you to the graveyard this morning? Well, just taking a morning walk? Well, it's kind of embarrassing. I may have had one too many glasses of dwarvish mead, and I just woke up here and with all of these people screaming at me, saying that Someone was dead. Got it. Are there gaps in your memory? I remember the bloodletting ceremony. I remember all of the, the 
issues with that. The um, cowhide. I was kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> remember the cowhide, but outside of that, uh, after that, it's kind of hazy, a little bit muted. Um, so what are you doing about the death of one of your own? About Sao? Uh, we, we will offer our burial services uh, for um, anyone who uh, to the family, uh, if they wish to have Saho buried in this graveyard. And will you investigate who killed him? Um, well, it seems like that's what you fellas are I'm doing. I'm beginning to think you don't keep good track of your people at all. Seems like a fault I'm in gonna your show, management. I'm going to keep a close... I'm focusing very much on the crowd. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just shout, Wasn't Quarion, he murdered him! I'm just gauging reactions in the crowd. Uh, one, uh, a couple people kind of look at you um, like you're crazy. Like, that that's absurd. Um, and one person says, Why, why would you say that? Uh, Quarion is one of our most upstanding citizens. I said it wasn't Quarion, it was him! Like I'm gesturing <laughs> toward someone in the crowd. Like, it was him! You're just singling somebody out. Yeah, just... But no one in particular. I'm singling out no one in particular. Just to gauge reaction. This is just causing confusion. <laughs> All right. Anyways, he wouldn't do it himself, of course. He'd have someone do it for him. Quarion, there were three gentlemen harassing Nobuo in the tavern the other day. I'm going to describe the guts men and the guy who tried to drown. Um, okay. <laughs> guy <laughs> trying to drown? Okay. I'm didn't. listening to this. I'm like, Nobuo. And, oh, Gimpy. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you know who these three gentlemen are? Uh, they are... Three farmers, um, Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> what you describe is not um, unfamiliar to me. Um, uh, unfortunately, some of the uh, townsfolk uh, don't view Nobuo uh, with uh, the sympathy he deserves because of his condition. You know, despite what some of you may believe, um, I do try and uh, help uh, each one of the people who reside within the uh, village limits. I will see that they are uh, reprimanded for their actions. Uh, just because he cannot be out in the fields with the other men uh, does not make him any less of a man. Good. Appreciate that. I see that your heart is in the right place. But while you're in the business of putting your heart in the right place, if we're doing this investigation for you, perhaps there's a reward in it for us to getting the truth. Perhaps, perhaps there is. Um, Good, say no more. If we find the I, culprit. You know, we're not a very large village, but I'm sure we can scratch together a small uh, amount of gold or, uh, to pay each of you for your services. Um, whatever um, gems or jewels you may find. Um, my, if the rumors about Saho are true, my guess is more of those may appear uh, uh, down the line. Dave's on this one. <laughs> Thank you, Quarion. I think I misjudged you. It's, it's understandable. In times of tragedy like this, we all um, we all jump the gun and go to dark places. And it's understandable. Stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, sir. We will leave. Um, I think when we're far enough away from him, then we can have a discussion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got any leads? I'm gonna guy cast a net. I guess. I, I'm gonna before we head out, just give a holler. Is guy cast a vet here? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. All right. Perfect. She a very tall <laughs> human. Uh, Fiery red hair. That was easy. Yeah, very go. pale skin. Good work. <laughs> uh, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> he is uh, standing over by what appears to be a freshly dug grave. Hmm. Oh. All right. Good job, dude. Good call. <laughs> Literally. Mind if we have a word? We're new in town, just looking for directions, just looking for some help. We couldn't find any brochures. Yeah, that's that's perfectly <laughs> fine. Go come on right over. Are we within your shot of Quarion? Or is he um, leaving the scene? He is kind of stumbling off, and most of the crowd is kind of um, following him, just okay. trying to get direction guidance. Uh, 
so as you wander over, you see uh, the graves on the gravestone is the name. What does Guy Castavet do? He's a farmer, yeah? Yeah, yep. he's a yeah. farmer. Uh, on the gravestone, you see <coughs> the name Cull Joshua. Okay. That was oh, the I laborer who died. Who was he to you? That guy didn't feel. He was, he was a friend. Um, young guy, 20, 20 or so. Um, you know, I told him, you know, um, I understand it gets cold and sometimes you want a little a little nip to keep you warm, but you can't can't do that too much, especially when you're swinging a sight. But <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, he just didn't pay attention to me. And one day he nicked his thigh open and that was that. The AOC will see over him. And I pray to them for his, for them to watch over him, yes. He was celebrating his life last night while celebrating the festival. Of course. Yeah, probably brought you all over town, huh? Like that sideboy? Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> the festivities uh, aren't re- relegated to just one, just the town square. Um, I was all over the town last Perhaps night. a hayloft. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles knowingly. Says, yeah, yeah, probably, maybe, maybe one or two mm-hmm. halofts. What, what brought you to the? Uh, I guess that would be the eastern side, no, western side of town. Is this facing eastern. north? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. that's north. And uh, what were you doing on the uh, west side of town by the Obiashis last night? Uh, <laughs> he stiffens slightly. Oh. Again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Round three, ding ding. <laughs> and he says, you know, who, who said I was by the Obiashis? I heard a couple of accounts of uh, what is this scene? I'm gonna cut in and just say, uh, yeah, we uh, we're trying to um, figure out uh, what happened, and I heard uh, someone said you were uh, around there, just keeping an eye, you know, being a good neighbor. Uh, to the Obiashis after they were getting hassled at the Sam Hain. So we thought, oh, well, if you were keeping an eye on them, you might have seen something. He kind of looks around uh, just to make sure everyone is out of earshot mm. and then kind of leans in close and says, Can I tell you guys a secret? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I was over by the Obiashi household. Um, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I have bad insomnia. I tried to go to sleep. It's probably like two in the morning. Couldn't do it. Uh, so I wandered out uh, just to walk around the town. I also really had to piss. <laughs> um, so I was just looking for a private place to do that. Um, but then I was over by the Obiashis. And I saw, uh, I saw Kimiko, uh, Saho's wife. She came out of the house covered in blood, uh, just drenched in it. Uh, she hurried out of the house. She looked around to make sure no one uh, was around. I, at this point, hid behind a tree because I mean, I didn't want her to see me. I Good didn't move. know. I didn't know what happened. Yeah, but I mean, covered in blood, like obviously nothing good. And I watched her, and she um, she looked around to make sure no one was watching her. Um, she then uh, took off what appeared to be uh, some sort of nightshirt, if you will, kind of wiped herself down, and then hid it in the bushes and hurried back inside the house. Uh, well, I mean, at that point, I um, I just uh, I hurried back as quickly as I could. Uh, I didn't. I wanted no part of that. Do you still have the nightshirt? I didn't touch it. No. I just you just it. saw it. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm gonna ask? Is he telling the truth? <laughs> uh, roll perception. Just him. Should I be mean, insight? if everyone wants to roll perception, they can. Should it be insight? Uh, insight. Sure. Insight is detecting motive. Yeah. Uh, nineteen. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> you can't tell anything. You. It appears he is telling the truth, yes. 
Did she run back inside after that? I... Yes, yes she did. And why would she do that? I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I heard the people earlier saying that... Um, that uh, Saho was dead. Um, maybe it had something to do with that. Maybe she found found him or something. I, I don't know. Someone else up. said that... The gem doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Someone else who was nearby said that they also saw Miss Palmer and John Smith, the bartender, over on the far side uh, of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, over around the, the Obiashis, you know, just kind of meandering around late at night. Did you see either of them? Uh, I, I can't say that I, I did, but again, I was, uh, I was kind of drunk at that point. Who else have you told? Uh, no one at this point. Um, no, I was just uh, visiting Cull here, just trying to figure out what's the best move for me to do? I think you should keep this under your hat for now. Really? So you uh, said you were in a couple of haylofts, and I know a gentleman never tells, but if you had to say someone else, who, or maybe a couple of ladies in the town who were also occupied around the same time? I can tell you that Lorraine Massey, she is... She is a wild one, if I do say so myself. But you didn't hear that from me. No, of course course not. (laughs) Next person we see, you know what guy said? (laughs) That Lorraine's a whore. I'm just giving D a look because I'll make sure he's not just looking for their target. (laughs) You want to hear their loose women? Well, thank you, sir. It's one more person to cull off the top of our list. Don't say it like oh. that. Not after saying that. <laughs> I, I tell you to keep it under your hat because this could put you in danger. Gee, you think? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a gemstone left on his chest. Someone was sending a message. Think it had anything to do with those rumors? Everyone says about uh, old Saho. What do those rumors say? That he uh, he might have had some uh, less than uh, some uh, maybe shady dealings out in Ryujin. What do you think about them otherwise, the family? Uh, what part of Ryujin would would that have been from? Because I spent several months in this part of town. Not a good part of town. Mm-mm. And uh, no part of it is. I would have been there about the time the Obiashis were there and just after they left. So I'm just curious whether I might have heard anything about them. Whether now this is ringing a bell. Um, I would say roll history. Fifteen? Did I hear any rumors or whisperings in that part of town? Um, you heard rumblings about how a genocide uh, crime boss mid-level by the name of Leonidas Hyde um, was pissed at someone uh, someone by the name of the Jade Hand and that he was looking for this person that he may have gotten screwed over on a deal for everyone writing that down I'll relate that to you. Okay. So, just to close the loop on that. Jade hand. So you had said um, you were asking about his opinion of family. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, uh, I have a mixed feelings. I would say. You know, I tried to take Saho under my wing, try to show him how to harvest and. Be a member of the community. Um, you know, he's kind of a city boy. Didn't really know the ins and outs of working the fields. Sure. Um, you know, I was willing to give him a chance to prove himself, but you know, after last night and just kind of spitting on our traditions, I was less than willing to 
help him going forward, but it doesn't seem like that's much of an issue now, unfortunately. Can't say I blame you. Anything else for the man? Before I leave him to his reverie? <laughs> Got nothing. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Sorry. Thank you, sir. We're happy that you took this time out. From what we heard, you're the, uh, you know, the best farmer in the village. I, I would certainly would not say that, but mm-hmm. well, other people do. I, I appreciate the people that do say that. Is that everything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do now? Where do we go? I'm gonna quietly, you know, <clears throat> out of earshot of everyone else. You know, mention that I was in that part of Ryujin. Um, and you got that alive. half of Ryujin for uh, a period of time that would have overlapped with Mr. Obayashi uh, and the rumors that I might have heard. It must be related. Could be. If it was this gemstone dealer, the Jade Hand, it would be fitting. To put that mm. in its chest. Could be. I think we should head back to the green door, see if we can find out more about any of this stuff. It's a good idea. A watering hole is always a good spot to ask. Always is. The old fashioned water cooler. <laughs> Alright, so just to keep in mind at this point, it's probably. Um, it's early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's even uh, open. It's probably like 8 ish, 9 ish. You can always stop at my place. You ate breakfast, but you said you didn't get a chance to eat. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic breakfast. Detour there temporarily. They do a good upside down flan. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Family recipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't say no. Just trying to use up time until they're open. No, but open. oh, okay. Yeah, right. I imagine they're open. The, I mean, the, all the I'm, drunks need to come in for the hair of the dog. That's what yeah, I was thinking. That's true. Now. That's true. Yeah. Um, Barkeep's always a good source of information. Yeah. And while people are woozy from last night, might not be a bad time to stop by. I'll have to take you up on that flan. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if they have something to go. <laughs> a doggy bag or something. <laughs> Just treating her house like a restaurant. <laughs> we'll be in Come in with a menu. Hi, I'd like to order. Where'd you get the menu? <laughs> Were you the one in the rough corner? <laughs> the creepy guy? <laughs> Talking about takeout in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so we will swing by the Brandy Button house briefly for a snack. Okay. And then we'll go to the green door. Priorities. Okay. <laughs> I'd say an hour passes. Sounds good. Uh, I do not eat. Okay.